What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Lord of the Rings draft. Lotho. Whenever a player casts their second spell, you lose life and credit treasure. That does not seem great for limited. Not too many turns where people are casting multiple spells. Creature died. Draw a card. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Faramir. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Uh, when Bill the Pony enters the battlefield, create two food tokens. Sack of food. Target creature assigns combat. Damage. Oh, so it, it's a, it's a butts matter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take Faramir. I do like the bat. The bat's not bad. Shire Sheriff. Sack a token when you do exile a creature until Shire Sheriff. So, like again, this is just literally Field Marshal or. Fiend Slayer, is that, what it, is that what it is? I don't know. The, the ones that exile creatures. There's like a million of them. This is a 4-4 four, four Flyer. I'm going to take the 4-4 four, four Flyer and we'll see if Blue-White is a, a combination we can get into here. Counter a spell, make some orcs. Counter a creature with power 2 or less, or toughness. Hmm. I wonder if draw second cards matter here. Faramir is actually great for that. If so, Knights is good. Saruman's Trickery is probably just fine as a counter spell. I think we're gonna take the Knights here. Maybe. I mean, it's just, a, what is it? Like we have to draw, if we draw two, it's a five five. Like that's okay. I kind of just want a regular counter spell. I like a reprieve too. Hobbit Sting, that's removal. Uh, draw a card. I think we're probably just going with Hobbit Sting. Green blue is scrying. Uh, ring sight, shadow facts. Let's take fog. It's just solid removal. Where is the background? I don't even know. What does that mean? The background. The Hulk. Oh, I mean, that's like if I'm here. <laughs> it's not going to be a background in the game because, you know, it's the game. It's just the game. We're not even talking about the game. We're just talking about practice. Uh, banish is good. Yes, it is. It is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Michael B. is at work. Return to two creatures in his hand. The ring tempts you. Five mana at sorcery speed. It actually could be decent, though. Yeah, bouncing two creatures. I mean, there's a reason it's uncommon, right? Does a lot. Scries, bounces, tempts you. Get busy tempting. Oh, you thought Mike B was the Hulk background. <laughs> Sammy. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch for a nickname, but you know, weirder things have happened, I guess. Oh, what up, Bomb Diggity Dan? BDD. Oh, another Horses of, of the Brunin. I don't love this four, this four mana 2-2 two, two flyer. I do like a Glorious Gale, though. I think I might just take Glorious Gale here. Gandalf's Sanction. Hmm. None of these cards are super impressive, I'll be honest. I guess I'll just take second breakfast just to have a trick. Two creatures so far, huh? 
No, don't like that. These are both, I mean, these, these feel like equivalent two drops to me. I'm going to take this guy because I think Vigilance is a little better than the ability to destroy an artifact or enchantment most times. In fact, you're the first streamer I ever watched who were making content for Black Border. That doesn't sound correct. Black Border might be one of the few sites I didn't make content for. Uh, I'll take the only blue card in here, I guess. Oh, now there's two blue, two white. This guy just came back. We were considering taking this guy earlier, so might as well take him now, I guess. No reason to second pick him when he got Reprieve came back? Maybe it's not that great. I don't know, but it's a remand, right? Like, it's hard to... I'm going to take the Shadow Facts because maybe we can splash it off something. What do we got here? Fangorn. Seven mana for a 410. Tree Folks have Vigilance. Tree Folk have Vigilance, I guess. I think it might be like Deer where it's its, its own plural. Whenever one or more Tree Folk you control attack, add twice that much mana. And then you don't lose it. You get to keep it forever, you know? It's good times. None of these are in our colors. This is like the only playable card in this pack for our colors. So this will be a pack we probably don't get a good pick from on the wheel. It's unfortunate. Put that guy in there. Uh, another creature has plus one, plus three on tap it. Sure, this guy. I do like Soothing of Smeagol. Returning a creature and then also getting tempted is nice. It's also a cheap spell, so we can trigger our two spells a turn a little easier. I don't know if it's second pickable, but that pack also wasn't that great. Maybe these packs are fine, and like I'm just my valuations are. Um, maybe I'm just overvaluing them. Undervaluing them? I do like a Took Reaper. The problem is there's not a ton of fixing. Like, Wizard's Rockets is probably one of the only fixing cards in the set that can actually, like, cast an off-color creature or card. How are we looking on? Nope, I want to do that. This guy. Well, I think we just need a creature here. Because we do have a lot of cards that are kind of reliant on us having creatures surrounded by orcs mass three and then they mill x where x is the so it's usually going to be three in our deck we you attack with one more else scry one whenever you scry it gets plus one plus one for each card looked at while scrying i'm just going to take draw three here another saruman's trickery can't tell if this is just the standard or if these packs are really bad or if we're just in the wrong colors. I'm still going to go with a creature here because I think we have a solid amount of removal and we don't have a solid amount of creatures just yet. Shire Terrace is fixing for Shadow Facts, but it's also, I mean, it might as well just be a mountain. Like... Like, sure, if we draw our mountain, we can search for something else instead, but I don't know. It's not super impressive in terms of fixing. These packs feel like Garbo. I, I kind of agree. Another Soothing of Smeagol. 2-2 two, two for 3. That puts an instant or sorcery back on top. I am glad there's another pack coming, because I'm not thrilled with the way these are looking. The problem with this is, like, okay, it costs two less if you've drawn... Oh, if you've drawn two or more. That's, I'm getting the drawn two or more and um, played two or more cards interchanged in my brain. Creatures you control get plus one, plus oh, and gain first strike until end of turn. 
I mean, this is just fine as a as a big creature that also plane cycles. Yep. Now we're on the downslide here. Let me scry. Yeah, I don't care about you. Just take this guy. Well, I hope we're going to hit it big in pack three. I cannot believe you're streaming now and you know I'm stuck in a card. How long? Are you legit buying the card today? Is it happening? Oh, yeah. Prince Prince Imrahil is, is, is a banger. Exactly what we want. Now we just have to find a way to draw two. But the, the ring tempting us with cards like Soothing of Smeagol is great because that second looting effect is really going to help trigger our whenever you draw second card cards. Press the enemy. Return a spell or non-land permanent an opponent controls to its owner's hand. You may cast an instant or sorcery with eager less than from your hand out paying man cost. Yeah, okay. Uh, I do like this. Yeah, I'm going to take the tail. I don't know if Shire Sheriff is that great. It, it strikes me as a card that's going to lead to a lot of blowouts. Like, you already sacrifice a creature, a token. So then you're already down something. And then if they, like, end up killing it during combat, which is very, very easy to do, they get their guy back and then they just kind of blow you out. This is the second time the ring tempts you. That's fine. I think it least lands your opponent's control now. Creature, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. I don't know if Elrond is. I think Scrying is actually just fine. I'll take the Elrond. We do want creatures. I guess, yeah, I guess the floor being a bear is actually a good point. I mean, if you're just taking it as a 2-2. I think with Lord of the Rings being a set of temptation, the temptation to exile a creature and then get blown out by it is frightening to me, but <laughs> like, yeah, I guess, I, I mean, I guess if you're just playing it as a literal 2-2 with Vigilance Bear, like, it's just pretty good. It's just kind of an upgrade on Eastmark Cavalier. That's actually, it's interesting that that's like a trap uh, a lot of Magic players will fall into. I think a lot of gamers will fall into this trap, and I, I am not immune to it. If you see a card that has multiple abilities and you're not able to use all of those abilities, you start valuing the card lower than you would otherwise. Like if, as if it didn't have those abilities. Yeah, I'm just taking four, four flyer again. And there's battlefield, our player mills X three cards, then mass orcs, rex, then our instant sorcery cards in that player's graveyard. Hey, a little birthday escape. I actually don't hate this as a trigger for some of my cards. I right, need four cuts as of right now. Two mana, spend this mana only cast legendaries. It's good for the shadow effects. No, maybe, maybe. Hmm. I kind of don't mind now for wrath, now for ruin. I mean, the ring tempting you, the vigilance, and the plus one, plus one counters all feel like a lot of things. Probably not going to play a second one, though. 
right, so we're gonna make our deck out of these, I presume. Oh, I don't mind having a five mana, three, four flyer. Nimble Hobbit, also not terrible. Interesting last picks. Oh, my vault progress. My vault progress. Okay, so let's... I have a sting, nimble. Ah, oh, I can definitely kill one of these guys. Put this in the sideboard for now. It's six cuts here. Cut glorious scale for now. We have a good amount of removal. How many creatures is this? So I know where we're like. 15 right now, okay. Let's assume you're over here. <sighs> Me too, these are some of my favorite lands. Um, five more cuts, don't feel great about that. I can see cutting, like, Reprieve. I could also see... I was going to cut the uh, Sauron's Trickery. I, I don't feel like we're a deck that's going to keep a bunch of mana up. I think Second Breakfast or Now for Wrath, Now for Rune. I don't think we want both. This makes a food, but the ring tempts us for this one. I think I'd rather have Now for Wrath. So now we're down to two cuts. Tempted to cut eagles. I don't really want to cut another creature, though. I guess we can cut one creature, but maybe it's it might just be better to cut, like, a two-drop. Maybe not. Double Took Reaper seems fine, especially if the ring is tempting us. We have a lot of ring-tempting cards here. Oh, looting is great for that. Uh, I could see cutting Greyhaven's Navigator, but otherwise we only have two three-drops. And over here we have uh, five-drop, two six-drops. Yeah, we can cut the birds, I guess. Maybe we just play 41. I actually like everything else. Even like even like Lorien Revealed is like, if we don't want to cast it, we can just get the island for it. Let's do it. Um, Yeah, like I definitely considered cutting the blue three drop. I don't think it's great, but I, I also would rather have another three drop because we don't have a ton. So I want to have something to fill that gap. Um, this is fine. Thank you. Sir Danger Scullywag, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Instant speed. They're at sorcerer speed, rather. Oh no, they're falling. They're 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 attacking right into the creature that they just played. Oof. That could not have gone worse for them. <laughs> uh, let's just play this guy. Yeah, he's a fine. Like, we want to get at least one creature in the graveyard because we have Tail. Like, I've definitely played Tail and I've been like, oh, I don't have any creatures in the graveyard. That's a bummer. I guess I'll just use the Indestructible and Lifelink. Oh, 
Okie dokie. So we can either play this and the ring will tempt us, or we can just draw three here, which also triggers this, which I think we're, I'd rather do. I'd rather just spend the five mana here. Because if we play this, we just have nothing else to do. And I'd rather like spend all five mana this time and still get our trigger, so. They know that has flash. See, now we can play this. You choose a creature other than Faramir. We can play this and Took and then attack as well. Or we can do other things. Let's see what other options we have. We have six mana. We can play Faramir and Birthday Escape. Birthday Escape. Oh, I should have just played him first to get the creature out. That's what's known as sequencing, boys and girls. Five seven, huh? I accept. What, what mana are you using to cast this? Two white. Going to six. Fascinating. Double took Reapers. It's interesting that a lot of these cards only trigger on your end step not on the opponent's end step, so it's definitely something worth considering. That's interesting. Having two ways to loot each turn. What's the third one they've played at sorcery speed, no less? That is a fascinating one. Okie dokie. Well, this is the largest generous ent that can never do anything. I guess a lot of creatures. I could see Glorious to Gale, Gale being somewhat useful. Especially when they're casting like big six drops or seven drops or whatever that fat daddy was. 
can see cutting Smeagol. One, one Smeagol for one counterspell seems fine. This is fine because we have island cycling here. I'm actually tempted to island cycle. It's interesting because cycling lets you draw a card, but island cycling does not let you, like it doesn't count as drawing a card. See, now the question is, do we do it? I think we do. I, I love having access to three cards later in the game. But I also just want to have my lands now, so... Lots of Rindral Island. Oh, we didn't. You have Vigilance? You strike me as someone who'd have Vigilance. Hmm. I'm actually very tempted to play this now. I'd like to keep it for both of these. But I don't have the mana. Plus, we're making other creatures, so. Let's Cards that scry, but they don't have any ways to profit off the strong that we've seen. Definitely tempting to bounce this. Like it's just enough mana where I like. I shouldn't have played the land. That was silly. Um, we can get rid of this guy. They're not going to have a ton of... See, this is... Now this is pod racing. Now this is pod racing. And if they want to spend four mana on that guy again, we can banish it this turn and still have a very formidable board. <laughs> yes, this is pot racing. <laughs> Good times. And that's the end. All right. A solid result. I will claim my, my prize. Oh yeah, definitely keeping this. We got the Prince. And we got a four, five, and six drop. Just missing a three drop or a way to draw a card to make this guy cheaper. for having nothing to play is unfortunate so you that you made this your default mountain but this is your default forest I'm not sure I understand A big boy. Yeah, I 
think it's just the second night's a dull am Amroth. I need a card that lets us draw. Birthday surprise here would be good. Birthday surprise into a land would be fantastic. That wasn't it. Just, uh, just so you know. It also means we can only play one thing. Sounds unfortunate. Well, sad. Very sad. Okay, they have three cards. Can't be very good, right? Next next day. I understand. Yes. Yes. Lots of big things are happening. Uh, okay, Hobbit Sting is decent. X the number of creatures, so it would be four. I want to do this now before they can untap and like remove one of our guys. So, still no attacks. Birthday surprise into land one time. Birthday surprise into planes. That's what we're looking for. It would trigger everything. Oh my god, three bag end porters. And whenever you cast a sword spell, creature token. Goad target creature. Why is goad in a non commander set? I mean, we're trading 133 for 144. Seems totally fine. Actually, this is probably... Mm, I don't really need them to start getting, getting aggressive with multiple 4-4s, four I guess. Okay, that's fine. Seems like a good top deck. Goat, no, goaded creature attacks each combat in games with more than okay, so it just it just forces it to attack. I'm just blocking here. Go to the middle of combat. It's so weird. Where's my lands? Give them to me. Feels like that was very good for us. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin was very well timed there. Yeah, I'm not gonna just taking six. And then we're gonna fog on the barrel down to that guy. Cool. <laughs> I wonder if I have a fifth land in my deck. I don't remember putting one in here. You're gonna sack a treasure just to kill my one one. Weird. It's a bold strategy, Tom. Sure.
We are at five. Still no lands. Still no sign of lands. Uh, wonderful. Now we're holding back because we're at five. And they have food, so like they're not even pressured to block. They have 11 life, essentially, and they can take two hits. Oh, look, a land. I'm not sure if it's the land we need. I mean, I'd rather discard this and hit a planes if I have the option to do so. What? Sure. What does that do? You're just gonna kill it in response? Wait, that doesn't even work. What is what? I don't know why you did that. Hmm. Never you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control. Like I'll still see how much builds power. So this is just what plus plus one plus one against hexproof. I don't get it. <laughs> Very confused. I think we're just on the no, tra uh, no attacks train here. That guy's problematic, I guess. So how do we not die to that guy? I guess we don't. I guess we just die to it. That's cool. No, I guess we have blockers now. You don't have great two removal spells. Definitely going to get this guy out of here if I can. Oh, what up, John? Good seeing you, my dude. John, where in California do you live? Escondido? That's literally where we're looking. Oh my god, that'd be so sick if we ended up there. Um... Let's do one of these jobbies. It makes this 
have to be blocked. Ooh, a little birthday escape. Uh, might as well pitch a land. Um, oh boy, I like, I kind of like both of these. Um, yeah, unless they can deal us two damage here, which should be locked up. That's not it. This is up to? Return up to. Okay, so let's just do that. Submit the one. Still want that one off. Still very tempted. Oh. So that was a thing. Definitely the GG's. Alright, so what did we see? We saw a bunch of big fat four fours. That's unfortunate. I kind of just want Glorious Gale. I feel like they had a, quite a few legendary creatures. And just quite a few more expensive creatures that I just want to counter. Almost tempted to bring in Saruman's Trickery as well. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a guide. Even if we don't end up in Escondido, uh, that's very close to where the hospital is that Katie is working at. So, like, we'd, we'd still be very local to that area. So... Like even if we like the other the other area I think we were looking at was like I think the hospital's in San Marcos, and the other area we were looking at was Carlsbad. So Most of my recommendations may or may not be beer related. <laughs> I'm gonna go with May. Carlsbad, that place ain't too bad. Is that true? I've heard good things about Carlsbad. Ah, that's brutal. They just killed that hobbit. A little Elrond. Elrond. Uh, at the beginning of combat, another cre another creature gets plus one. Okay, so you're never going to be a 3-3. A three, three. That's good. Too. John, are you... When you say my work, I, I'm I'm very interested because it it sounds more cryptic than you usually are, you know? I kinda wanna hit a land here, but I also have a creature I can play. But I guess the alternative of what you could say would sound weird, so maybe that makes sense. I'm just going to put this on here. You don't need to be, like, attacking for five next turn. Land drops would be cool, though. Nice. That's technically a land drop. Hmm, I'll choose this one. I 
actually, if we hit another land drop next turn, we can play knights and also activate this to trigger it immediately. I'm going to bottom this because we don't definitely need it. And I'd rather have a, a, a second planes. A lot of land they have. What are they doing? Stop looking at my creatures. Big, that's a big boy. Hobbit Sting. Okay, so 6-4 deals 2 damage. No, not going to do it. That's pretty big. Um, I think we're just gonna try to hit a land here. We did. Me like. So. I do like this. I think. I think we're a little far off of Hobbit's Sting. I think we just play our land and pass. And I think we easily trade here. And if they want to trick it, we can soothe them by Smeagol. Yep. Interesting. See you later. Choose a creature to bear the ring. Uh, probably this guy, because we're attacking with it anyway, and this guy we're going to activate, so. Fingers crossed you have nothing else. Okay. Can I pick up the Lord of the Rings Secret Lair? No, I I'm, I'm pretty unimpressed with it. <laughs> Both the cards they chose and the art is just kind of... kind of meh. <laughs> You're going to regret it in 20 years. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, we'll keep that on top. Choose a creature to be your ring bearer. You're a ring bearer, Harry. Ah, uh, we'll stay at the same back. Um, 
Awkwardly, I'm probably going to discard the planes. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, that card, this, this card was just a blowout. Yeah, so like we have Slip on the Ring, which is just a blink spell, and it's got Frodo, I guess, on the art with the holding the ring. Then you have Gandalf, a friend of the Shire, which is the 2-4, which is an uncommon in the set. Mirror of Galadriel. Five mana to scry and draw a card. It costs one less for each legendary creature you control. And then Shire Terrace, which is a, the common land. Like, it's just... The cards in the set are super underwhelming. And the art... Like... Like, they're not main characters. It's just kind of like... It's just kind of meh. Okay. I was like, is that going to be enough? It was. I think it's surprisingly decent. Or our opponents are worse. I don't know. Hard to know what to attribute things to, you know? Multiple versions of the same character. Are you talking about um, like how there's multiple Gandalfs or multiple... Like there's Gandalf the White, Gandalf White Rider, Gandalf Westward Voyager, Gandalf the Grey, Gandalf Friend of the Shire. There's literally like five versions of Gandalf. And also if you click on Friend of the Shire... There's literally five different versions of Gandalf friend. Oh, you're saying. Oh, interesting. There's two versions of Gandalf in the set. Where is. Where does it even show that? What? That's so weird. I don't even see that. Like, it doesn't show that on the actual secret layer page. Like, I'm only finding it in, like, Scryfall. Oh, no, there's a Magic Fest. Oh, this is Magic Fest 2023. This is a play promo. Which is weird, because I don't even know if this Gandalf's any good. <laughs> I mean, no offense to Gandalf, but... I actually really like the Bad to the Bone secret layer, but I just wish the cards were better. Like, it has Bottomless Pit, which is fine. I'm not a commander player, so I don't think that does anything for me. Necrogen Mists. Reassembling Skeleton. Tiny Bones. And Geyer Reach Sanitarium. And, like, all of those are just kind of, like... Eh. Oh, really? That's a, that's a wild choice. Oh yeah, that was an easy bottom. Easy bottoms. Sure, you got it. Meanwhile, this goblin and squabblin bundle is fucking insane. We have goblin lackey, which is already like twenty dollars by itself. Goblin matron, goblin recruiter, muxus, which is five dollars, and then shatter gang bros. Like that's just a cool bundle. I will smite the Deathless a third time. Sure. You got it. So whenever you attack, if, when, if you control a creature with the greatest power, so you just have to, you just have to have the biggest, the biggest creature and then you get to make another creature. Seems good. I'm no expert. Okay, you can go on the bottom. I don't have anything that works with you, so I'm actually going to bottom, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to no attacks here. God, 
Double blocking is so risky here. And it worked out. Wow. That was cool. Fantastic. Um. I do like that the ring tempts you even if you don't have a creature. Like, it would suck if you had to have a creature for the ring to tempt you. Um, I'm gonna play land, I'm gonna play this guy. and they didn't do anything. I don't know what's going on. That guy's big. Uh, let's get our 3 4 cards. That's a scry. Oh, yeah. We'll keep both of these. Dang it. <laughs> I think I do want to keep Hobbit's Sting in hand. Yeah, we do. I guess we'll get rid of Birthday Escape. If they want to play Six Drop again, we can play Bird. I guess we have to hope the... Yeah, I guess the last card we draw is going to be... I'm not too too worried about our Yeah, you can stay back. Yeah, that's an easy pitch. Feels like we're in good shape here. They're gonna kill our bird. That's oh, okay, we have multiple birds. Keep keep bearing that ring. Sure. Oh, that's a that's a nice one. Let's do this first so that we have more cards to pitchy pitch. game um one, two, three, four, six yeah that's fine we can keep it Oh, what up, Shoe Garner? Yeah, sack of Olympus. Is 
Is this a solid victory? We'll see. What is Goth Mog? Masters just have Death Touch. Uh, I'll take two. Unless Death Touch means when they deal combat damage to me, I die. Again. Man, if only this was an instant. For multiple reasons. Like, if we were able to, if the ring was able to tempt us, uh, we would get the last trigger, which would deal three to them. They would kill them. The plus one plus one would kill them. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll just pass here. They have one card. This is just a 3-3 three, three with a ma Yeah, I'll just block it. Sure. I'll take 10. Okie dokie. Again, like, I feel like Glorious Gale is just going to do some serious work. Well, it's great to bounce our 6-4. I'd really just rather have it gone. Do you have a favorite card of the set? That's a good question. Hmm. It might be fourth Aerolingus. I think that card is very strong. And I think it's also really versatile. Like, you can play it on two and give your one drop or two drop a, uh... a way to get through to make you the monarch. I, I think I had a brain aneurysm there. The horse. <laughs> oh, yes, the horse. What's your favorite card? It's the horse. So consider we can play this on three, even if we uh, don't hit a land. I think we're just going to play this guy and wait. Like next turn, if we don't hit a land, we can easily island cycle and keep up soothing, which is nice. But we hit a land. Might do it again this turn, but we don't have a four drop that we actually want to cast. But like, I mean, the thing is, if we hit like land, land. We're totally fine, and I'd rather keep the Lorien revealed because of that one. March to the Black Inner's Battlefield, and whenever an army you control attacks, you amass one. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, see, if I just keep hitting lands, I'm like not even going to worry about it. I think we're just going to play this now to make a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they're just going to kill our guy in response. March. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty good. through now. There's no profitable blocks.
Jesus fucking Christ. So this sucks because this guy's gonna be a 4 4 next turn. So we just, what, trade with something? And then they start making 1 1s again. This is just like, what is this, Dread Horde invasion? Lose a life and a mass one. Or is this you don't even lose life? So I guess if we got rid of the orc somehow, like they wouldn't be able to do it. Cool. Yeah, this is we're just waiting. Yep. Good times. I mean, Horses of the Brunin would have been fantastic there. Bounce both their guys, but... Alas, no. It was not meant to be. Oh, what up, Scarbo? Good seeing you, buddy. Where is the, um... Does it still say it's my birthday somewhere? Did I not update the... Anyway. Anyway, my birthday was this weekend, but I do appreciate it. Uh, next. Done. I wasn't sure if, like, I, maybe I didn't press done when I updated the, uh, the stream titles. So it still just says that it's my birthday right now. Two birthdays. It's true. Well, that's one less Timothy Oliphant we have to deal with. Speaking of which, I'm extremely excited for the Justified uh, revival that's coming out in July. Never thought I'd see the day where we get another Justified season. I'm confused. <laughs> It's everyone's birthday. It's all of our birthdays. Cool. Would love to just be able to hit my land drops like a normal person, but... Um... Do I want to attack or do I want to actually keep mana up to loot? I think we're just attacking here. And the ring gets to tempt me. Oh, I'm so tempted. Beautiful. Now we get our loot on. I can still loot again. Beautiful. Sure. Thank you. So you got a one. Three, three. Are there three in my graveyard? Oh, yeah, because I cycled and I played this. That makes sense. Uh, pass to attackers. Unfortunate. If only you had vigilance forever. If only we had another white source. Just play a big fat idiot. That's a one one. Card I use. Okay. Just gonna hold this for now. We don't need it on board, and if we ever loot again, it's just gonna be helpful. Thanks, Frank and Chef, for all the positive memory about Santa Mary. I'm very happy she's the guest. First time to be able to watch since then. So, dude, I'm so happy it went well. 
I'm interpreting that as you asking Samwise Gamgee to marry you, and I'm very happy for you. <laughs> See, that's fine. Okay, this turn's gonna be well, 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 well. Oh, easy. Four, five. It doesn't just have to be this, right? No blocks. Sorts of wild mana here. Cool. Zachary is a creature. It's gotta be this one, right? One card, I think we're in okay shape here. Really? Or do I just take one here? Maybe I'll just take one. Yeah, if, if they have the three damage here, I don't really wanna, like we, we saw like three of them. Who's going to bear the ring? Yeah, this is rough because I don't want to have to get rid of either of these, but... still trading. That's fine. Seems good. Having a soothing in hand is pretty nice. We know they don't have, they have one card, so. And that's the end.
that's how you 3-0 a draft when you don't even know what direction you're going in. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on YouTube, follow on Twitch, do all the things that support the content you are consuming for free at this very moment. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.